Hey guys, welcome to another Rise of Iron video. Today we're discussing how to balance snipers to make them a competitive option again without causing a really slow and boring meta like the one we had for the majority of year 2. And remember, these are my opinions and you are more than welcome to disagree, but if you want to comment on it, please be respectful about it. And I don't think there's any doubt that Bungie has nerfed snipers into the ground, with nerfs to handling, damage, flinch, and as a result the meta has shifted from one extreme, the hot scope meta, to another with the new shotgun meta. So what can be done to balance snipers once again? Well for one, revert the April update nerf. In case you don't remember, snipers had their handling speed nerfed and zoom levels increased on low zoom scopes in April, and that nerf really only punished good snipers and caused even more people to hide in the back of the map with a sniper, which as we all know by now made for an incredibly boring meta especially for Trials of Osiris. That said, this nerf was not enough to kill snipers. I'd actually argue that it did the complete opposite. It just made more people use snipers hide in the back, abuse high aim assist snipers like the longbow, and honestly it didn't really take any skill to snipe here a couple months ago. But with the recent flinch nerf, it has made aggressive sniping so much harder. The handling nerf already made it more difficult, but to use a sniper offensively now you absolutely have to get your shot off before your opponent, but with a gun that handles 3 times slower than any primary, that's near impossible. And speaking of the flinch nerf, I would also make some slight changes there. I don't think there's any doubt that flinch needed to be increased, but I also think they went a little overboard. My suggestion is that they keep the same flinch value for headshots, but drastically decrease flinch on body shots. That way you have a fighting chance as a sniper if your opponent isn't accurate enough to hit the head, and makes close quarter sniping possible, but still very high risk against skilled opponents. But the way I see it, a sniper shouldn't be punished too severely if his opponent isn't skilled enough to land continuous headshots. I honestly don't see anything wrong with there being little to no flinch on body shots, as this also makes accuracy much more important on a primary weapon. Then there's the damage nerf, and I half agree, half disagree with that nerf. In my opinion, snipers should simply have lowered body shot damage, but with a headshot modifier of 3. And that would go for all archetypes, and the three low impact sniper archetypes, featuring guns like the Praetor's Revenge, Wailer's March, and 2020 AMR, should all be merged into one archetype. There's simply no reason to have that many low impact archetypes. Anyway, with this nerf, the Event Horizon should be doing 151 damage for a body shot and 453 for a headshot, which is of course the default with no ballistic modifiers. The Longbow archetype would do 139 damage for a body shot and 417 for a headshot, just like pre patch. The Defiance archetype would be doing 111 for a body shot and 333 for a headshot. And lastly, the new merch low impact sniper archetype would be doing 95 damage for a body shot and 285 for a headshot. With 95 body shot damage, it would usually be a 3 shot body shot, but it would also allow for 2 shot kills against low armor opponents. The purpose of this would basically be to avoid body shot cleanups, but maintaining the ability to one shot supers. It will of course still be possible to body shot clean up with a high impact sniper, but with the slow rate of fire, low aim assist and max size, I think that's a fair trade off. With the mid impact archetype you would need a high impact hand cannon like the first curse to clean up after a body shot, and this would generally just make accuracy a lot more important with a sniper, which given the role of a sniper makes perfect sense, they're meant to be precision weapons, and being able to do such massive damage with a body shot is just a bit too much. And when it comes to supers, I fully believe you deserve to die if you put yourself in a position to get sniped. Supers are meant to be powerful, yes, but they're not meant to make you invincible. You should absolutely still be punished for making dumb decisions. Lastly, I would also add a penalty for staying in scope for too long. Maybe after 5-7 to seven seconds your scope could start swaying and you would have to unscope for a few seconds for it to reset. And there is actually one last change I would also make, but I also find it highly unlikely that we will see this at least in Destiny 1, and that would be to fix the aim assist of all snipers. Bungie basically has this philosophy I guess you can call it where all weapons sort of have a different aim assist stat, and I get it and I don't get it. It makes the weapons feel different, it makes them stand out, but I also don't like it when I have a weapon, say the Irene sniper rifle, which I love the look of, I love the sound of, I actually like the way it feels too, but I also know that because it only has a third of the aim assist of a longbow, I can never use it effectively against a sniper of equal skill. I can guarantee you that if you were to put me up against someone with literally the same skill as me, say you, you clone me or whatever, put me with a longbow up against me with an Irene, me with a longbow would win 10 times out of 10. I don't think that should be a thing, so I would fix aim assist of every single sniper at 40. 
This is not a very high aim assist, but it's also not low enough for it to make aggressive sniping too difficult. You'll still be able to drag scope, you'll still be able to quick scope now and then. It's just not going to be quite as easy as the ridiculous 75 aim assist longbows we saw pre-patch. Overall, these changes are all meant to make snipers a viable option, but cater more to players with a fast and accurate target acquisition. In most shooter games, a sniper is a weapon that requires high skill and finesse, and I don't think Destiny should be any different. That's not saying that they should only be usable for highly skilled players, but in an arena-ish shooter like Destiny that heavily caters to close quarters combat, snipers need to be viable weapons for somewhat aggressive use, if you're accurate enough, of course. And let's be honest, how many of us really enjoyed the hardscope meta? Maybe I don't talk to the right people, but I sure don't know anyone who enjoyed it. It was incredibly slow and it was just plain boring to be honest. I personally don't think a completely shotgun dominant meta is any better, but it's about finding the right balance. And as I said early in the video, I think we've just gone from one extreme to another. So to recap what I would do to snipers, I would remove the April update nerfs thereby improving handling and lowering zoom levels on the short range scopes. I would also reduce flinch on body shots significantly decrease body shot damage but increase the headshot modifier. I'd add sway or some other penalty for staying scope for too long and also fix all snipers aim assist at 40. So let me know what you think of these suggestions in the comment section and if you disagree let me know exactly why and what you would do instead. I do also plan on making videos like this for shotguns and primary weapons so do look forward to that. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will catch you all on my next video.